Howdy friends, it's Rev Kev on Friday, November 12th, 2021. This Sunday, we are continuing our sermon series on gratitude, living a life of thankfulness. I'll be honest with you, this, this series has challenged me a little bit more than others have. Uh, just thinking about gratitude and some of the things that we've been talking about is, is difficult. Uh, some of these things are hard to talk about. It's hard to be thankful when we're so divided in our world and, and sometimes even in our own families. But I think one of the ways to get past this is to focus on what unites us. And so that's what we're going to do this Sunday. Uh, and that's gratitude. The early church was all over the place in, in who was involved. It was, a, it was a real mixed bag of people. So the early leaders had to find a way to unite all of these different people. This Sunday, I want to tell you what that was, so join us. Read Acts chapter 2, 44 through 47 to prepare. Acts 2, 44 through 47 to prepare. This Sunday will be the last day to bring items for Thanksgiving baskets, so get those in by this Sunday. This is such a wonderful opportunity for us to bless over 50 families here in our community that might not have the um, ability to, to provide a Thanksgiving meal for their family. We're fast approaching the Advent season. We'll be putting out our Christmas trees on Sunday, November 21st, right after worship that day. And then a team of folks are going to come together on the 22nd at 10 a.m., to decorate those trees and to, to decorate around our sanctuary, the Welcome Center, around our facility. So if you are available to help out with that, we would love to have you come up and join us on November 22nd at 10 a.m. Another reminder about taking the next step Sunday. We had that back on October 24th. We collected all of our estimate of giving cards. If you haven't turned one in yet, we would love for you to do so. It's just a it's a way for us to show our commitment to the church. It's a way for us to be able to plan and envision for the future of our ministry. Oh, and one last thing. I am, I am standing here in the sanctuary this morning because I want to share how excited I am about the possibility of renovating this sanctuary. We have not touched our sanctuary since it was built in 1995 and the carpet and the paint and the floors well they're all looking a little tired uh don't don't forget about the pews i don't think i mentioned the upholstery on the pews it's looking tired too god has entrusted us with this sacred space so we want to take care of it both now and for future generations you'll you'll be hearing more about this idea in the coming weeks. But for now, I would invite you to start praying about how we might refresh the sanctuary here at First United Methodist Church of the Port. Worship with us this Sunday morning, 1020 a.m., either in person or online. I love you. I miss you. God bless you.